Guys, this week's episode of the podcast is brought to you by our good mates at Stigma Health. StigmaHealth.com is online STI testing in Australia. If you're DTF on Tinder, you're getting buzzed on Bumble, or if you've been grinding with Grinder. Have you changed sex partners? It's time for a sexual health test. Stigma Health has got you covered with easy online testing. It's discreet, secure, with test results getting delivered straight to your phone. Head on over to StigmaHealth.com. That's S-T-I-G-M-A Health.com. Ladies and gentlemen... Welcome back to Daily Blue Weekly. My name's Bluey. <laughs> My name's Gabe. And this is your weekly dose of all the news stories that matter, but most of the ones that don't. A little bit of suspense. Just keeping you guessing, keeping yeah, them I'm guessing. Like, am I going to chime in here? Boys and girls, what am I supposed to say? I just keep everyone on their toes, mate. Yeah, I like it. I, I like to keep you honest. What's going on? Cruising man had a productive day, went and got this nice little t-shirt. That That's very exciting. Pre-sale next week in the blue corner, official boxing merch of the podcast. Mm-hmm. I'm happy to go out and a limb and say that. We'll not be doing any more boxing <laughs> yeah. merch. Official boxing merch of the pod pre-sale next week. Keep your eyes on the socials. Gabo's come up with a sexy little number there. Bit of a couple of guys punching each other on the back. Official boxing merch for the podcast Royale, which is fucking coming up. So if you want to get behind us while we're in the ring, if get you, behind us in general. You know, because you can stream it now. You guys asked you guys said hey we didn't get tickets can we watch this cunt and we said we'll ask we asked it was apparently a lot of people asked mm, it was more, more so us though i would say i would say we led the charge yeah exactly like people got behind us but we made the initial <laughs> i would say we spearheaded it for sure yeah, you can thank us is what i'm 100 percent, 100 percent, man i'm Every- happy to take that that burden that responsibility you have us to thank yeah. for the for the stream being available you can stream the fights and this shirt will go nicely while you sit there with a six pack and watch us just inflict damage on our opponents. Yeah, I think you inflict will. some damage on your kidneys yep. and bank account by buying a shirt. We'll inflict damage on the Queenslanders. Well put. That's how it's going to go. I like that. That you hold up your end of the inflicting damage. Inflict, we'll do ours. Inflict, inflict. Everyone's delivering damage on the twenty seventh, baby. They'll be inflicting damage to the fucking floor after they hit it. If you know what I mean. For sure, there's damage going to be inflicted all around the joint. Um, so that pre sale is going to be next week. They're not on sale yet, but there will be a pre sale. Probably going to be a short pre sale, maybe a, a seven day pre sale. Yeah. Um, so we can turn them around and get them out to you in time for them to be on your bodies for the fights keep your eyes on the socials we will tell you more if you're not watching and you're listening it's a crisp white shirt the blue corner daily blue weekly 2024 on the front and uh two boys fighting on the back a couple of dudes fighting on the back one is in blue one is in red close to maroon the guy in blue is punching the shit out of the one in red it makes sense that's what we're about you could call it manifestation of sorts that is what we're about visualization visualization manatite <coughs> Monetization. Monetization. <laughs> <laughs> my brain and my mouth wanted different things there. Uh, Manifestation. Yeah. Maybe even masturbation. Fuck it. Who knows? Who knows? So there's that. That's exciting. Well done, mate. You've done another good job on the merch. Thank you, man. There's that. Also, preface, short episode inbound. We're recording early this week. There's some circumstances out of our control that have led to us recording on a Tuesday. Uh, so God knows that big news is dropping on a Wednesday. You know... <laughs> You know for a fact, so we've recorded, we're recording, it's Tuesday, Arvo, now. Something crazy has happened Wednesday and Something, we're not reporting on this it. This World War Three is going to start on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. we've, we could be dead by the time this podcast drops and you won't know about it. You'll yep. still think we're alive because we're recording that early in the week. That's just how this game works. That's what it is. The important thing is you're still getting your beautiful podcast on a Friday. That's the important thing. Uh, you've had to rush here again straight from work, mate. A little bit dirty. Straight from work, stinking little bit dirty, but happy. happy. Went for went for a run this morning with the possum. Oh. Um, we Tuesday morning we go for a little trot. We go uh, from Merriweather, we go up to Dixon Park, back to Merriweather. We jump in the ocean bars and go get a coffee and just sit there and chew the fat before work. It's so sick. I respect the shit. Out it's of that, man. so nice. Get my uh, my soul cat keep cups. Been getting a fucking hammering. Nice. Okay, just a, whatever goes in that one, please love. Usually medium, maybe a little extra shot on a Tuesday. Um, horny and then go to work and then the sky starts falling in but for like that hour before work it's bliss yeah I do need to I, I do dream of having that in my arsenal but my bed is really comfy mm. and I, it's like really nice when my girlfriend's it's, next to me it's fucking night. hard getting up it was real hard this morning because I had to get up earlier than what was required because I had to go and put some shit on the truck mm. at like 4 o'clock this morning so I could still get the truck take the truck to the ocean baths go for a swim and a run, then go immediately to fucking erect scaffold all day. Yeah. That's the life, mate. And it does like, 
Another reason I wish I had it in my arsenal is because I know, like, you feel mad after it. Like, I know, I know, like, you are, like, everyone goes, oh, I can't be fucked to exercise. The facts are that you feel energised after exercise. You do f- until, like, lunchtime. Yeah. <laughs> then you get kind of tired. You have to go for a run again. <laughs> yeah, you feel amazing. You get, like, full of caffeine and dopamine and all that until, like, lunchtime. Mm. And then you like, damn, I got up at four o'clock. I'm fucking pretty tired now. Yeah. That is the that's a, that's the truth. It's a double edged sword. Yeah, but the first half of the sword is real nice, and, and you get the back half of the sword, and it's fucking to be gay. Then the back back half of the sword sword is you're getting a good sleep, so then it's kind of good oh, again. Oh, you fucking know, mate. Not Isn't that, that I need any. Bullshit. Not that I need any help falling asleep, but nah. mate, come like eight thirty p.m. at the latest tonight. I'll have a belly full of food, and I'll be. Absolutely fucking like blowing Z's, just gone. You, you said you go along Merriweather, right? That's what you said. Yeah, you so Merriweather Bards up to the top of Dixon Park car yeah. park and then back. So not like a, not running a marathon by any stretch. But, but, but do you go past the beach at all? Yeah, but it's pitch black. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, pitch black, right. It's, it's sun, dark sun's now. not even up. Not now, no. Nah. Uh, not at, not at like, because we, we, we start pounding the pavement like 5 a.m. Yeah, you're right. I was gonna so ask it's if, dark. I was going to ask if you see those people who like put the ice baths on the beach. On the weekends you do. They're not doing it through the week. Uh, they're fucking pretenders. They're only doing it when there's crowds around on yeah. the weekend. They're not They're not doing it on a Tuesday morning. Okay. They're, they're doing that on a Saturday when there's maximum fucking exposure. Because yeah, every, every cunt can see them being cool. and See online. They're doing mm. a little bit of fucking bars work. A little yeah. bit of- um, Which yeah. is great. Apparently, apparently, well, yeah, that is cool. But also it's cooler when everyone sees you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to 2024, man. Of course. It doesn't count if no one sees you have your ice bath. Did it even happen? Exactly. If a tree falls in the woods, mate. That's what they say. That's, if an ice bath goes unseen, it did not happen. What else is new, mate? Mm. I had a um, uneventful first weekend since Vegas where I got to actually replenish, recharge, get the health bars back to full. Um, a few errands on Saturday. Just ticked a few boxes. Sunday, I was back. I went and did, did the groceries and, and whatever I had to do on Sunday. I think I was back on the lounge by like 11.30 a.m. My ass only left to urinate or get more food. I fucking full lounge lizard on Sunday. Like horizontal. Lounge did, did not Did not proper couch potato yeah. from like 11. There's two really good games of footy. Um, yeah. Like fucking did not move till I think I got up to go to bed. I obviously hit the fridge multiple times, toilet, pat the dog. That was it. It was so good, man. Yeah. Like fucking horizontal. Speaking of being a pig. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I ate some fucking shit too. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, me too on the weekend, mate. I'll let, I'll let you get back to it. But uh, my miso's nan, Greg nan. Oh, oh. Always sends a slash. Big nonna. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Is oh, what, is what a great one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sends us home with a fucking block mm. of Cadbury chocolate, which my skin doesn't like. Yeah, <laughs> it's not good for you, but fuck, it's. <laughs> and Easter's coming up. Dairy milk, just straight dairy milk. Yeah, just straight dairy milk. That's, that's tough to beat. That's my jam, bro. That's tough to beat. It is. <laughs> And uh, Mrs. just bought a bunch of the fucking chalky eggs and they're just sitting on the dining table in a nice glass bowl. Easter's coming up. Oh, when is Easter? What are we, like two weeks out? Yeah. Mate. There I'm, is going to be. I'm eating at least three eggs a day, minimum. Bro, I'm going to, because I'll be off, still off, off the syrup. So there's going to be some chockies getting fucking pounded, mm. bro. Fucking crushed. If I was to like. Pretty much all I want for Easter. I don't want anything for Easter. But if I'm in the chalky world and I'm picking. But Lil, if you're listening. I, I, <laughs> <coughs> I just want those circle eggs. Like, I, they've always been my favourite. The little dense eggs. The Like the Cadbury ones. Yeah, and Cadbury. the foils like purple, yeah, yellow, purple, green, yellow. red. They're but they're favorite. all just dairy milk eggs. Yep. Agree. One barrier. Ooh. The fucking unwrapping. They are a bit fucking it's fiddly, bit, aren't they? I want something that. That, that barrier to entry, I'd, I'd want to be able to. Or do you know what? I, do you know <laughs> hey, how you I do? Be able to do what? I want to fucking yeah, as much in my mouth as possible. <laughs> then, then some eggs. <laughs> nice. The, the the way I get around that is I will peel like seven <laughs> at once, and then I can go two at a time if yeah, required. Nice. But that is that is a kind of because sometimes you're driving and you might want an egg, but you fucking fucking around. Yeah. Cause a ten car pile up while you're having a fucking chalky egg. Well, I'll give you the hot tip, mate. I I'm, don't even think it's that hot. 
sucking them fuckers. Yeah. Putting them in your mouth and like not even yeah. chewing them, just sucking the shit of, out of it's them. It's almost delayed gratification, but mm. it's not. But then you get them to a, a stage where they're, okay, you're getting pulverized by my teeth yeah. now. Oh, Bang. Just sucking the shit out of it's them. Ch- yeah, it's true. Tr- and the weather's cooling down too. I know I already mentioned it. The cups of tea have been broken out. It's officially tea season in my household. Oh, like got- big tea and bickies on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, multiple like repeat sets. I, I did a block of, I probably already mentioned it. I did a block of the Coles Ultimate, yeah. like a box. The, oh, missus, the, had, yeah, yeah. the missus had two. Then she went back to the fridge and I was like, I left one in the giant box. You fucking prick. You can't leave one. Well, yeah. And it's like, you do that thing. It's like, oh, because then if I eat one more, I've eaten the whole box. Yeah. So I'll leave one for her. But then leaving one is- Essentially just, leaving none. It's offensive. It's pointless. It's You may as well have eaten the whole box. You hit the nail on the head. It is offensive. It, yeah. And it's pointless. <laughs> And you only it's a, you think you're being good because you've left her one. No plus, one wants one cookie. Exactly. Plus you didn't eat the whole box, so you but then yeah, you're still a fucking <laughs> piece of shit. But mentally you've gone, oh well, it's yeah. better than better than eating. It's the- such a lie. It's <laughs> such a fraudulent, hollow, just dog dog act, basically. No, it, <laughs> it's do- it's dog. That's a dog act. And no one wants one Carl's ultimate cookie. And I would nearly say it's my signature move too. <laughs> Bro, pack of Kingstons. I had a pack of Kingstons. Oh, they're, they're the like the coconutty ones. Oh, sure. They're like they're thing. the little ones with the chocolate. The aren't it's like sometimes the, pink in the middle. No, 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 no. That's a um. That's I a. Those were Kingstons. No, nah, no. Nah, Kingstons the the little one that's got chocolate in the middle. It's like it's all. They look like yeah, okay. a small Anzac biscuit, like a double Anzac biscuit sandwich, uh, yeah. but they're not. They're not Anzac biscuit yeah. flavored. Uh, pack of them got it on Friday. In the yeah, just dunking in cups, like footy on. Hot cuppa, pack of bickies. You got me craving cuppas, bro. The other night I went, fuck, I'd have a cup. I wish we had some ultimate cookies. After hearing you say it on the right. Patreon pod, I was like, oh, it's, I, it's I my, need that. It's my treat, like, when I'm not indulging in, in the sauce. It's, it's like, it's as good, for, it's as satisfying. I find it as satisfying. What's what's more piggish? Block, like, not that I eat a whole block of chalky, but Cadbury chocolate or ultimate cookies? What? Because what should I be indulging in? That they they just seem as bad as each other. Bro, I think they? so. It's it's tough to beat the dairy milk, but I th- I just think there's something about hitting a bicky in a cup of tea. But I don't know. See, I'd be saying what's worse. I want to dodge what's worse for me. But oh, I just I feel like they're on the same plane. Both field. pretty terrible for you. Yeah. For your bloodstream, teeth, heart, brain. Not neither of them are good, mate. So just flip a coin. Yeah, because they're but you're going to be happy regardless mm. of the outcome there. The Coles, I forgot how good the Coles Ultimate were. Right. Fuck me, cut. Yeah. Like, like they're dense. Like, there's a lot of chalky. Because that's a complaint sometimes. Like, I'll get a biscuit. Unless it's a double coat Tim Tam, you can sometimes be like, damn, I should have just got chocolate. Because because the thing I'm enjoying about this biscuit is the chocolate, but I've been I've been fucking held a little bit short on the chocolate. Not with the Coles Ultimate. No way. Not with the Tim Tam double. The Tim Tam, the double coat Tim Tam is probably the apex for me. That's That's – as far as bis- in the biscuit, yeah, okay, in the yeah. scheme of bickies, there's not, there's not, no, I don't think anything's beaten that for me. Yeah, is it a double coat Tim Tam? That's fucking, it's insanely yeah. good. To be fair, I don't know the last time I had one. I, I, Mrs. Slams the fucking uh, just classic Tim Tams. Yeah, I think she it, prefers them. It's tough to go back. I, I found myself wondering why they ever make them. <laughs> fair dinkum. <laughs> yeah. After you've had a double, like get get a pack of each this weekend, and you at home. Get a get a pack of double coats. Get a regular pack of Tim Tams. Have a double coat. Have a regular one, and just tell me how you feel. Because I found myself fully just going. I don't even know why the regular one exists anymore. When there's this, as far as you're concerned, the double coat like should be that's is the, the Tim. That's Tam. the baseline. Now. That's what a Tim Tam is for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's I, don't, I don't even if yeah if they're on offer on a, some kind of I will probably just turn my nose up at them. And go <laughs> go, on, go down the shops and get me a pack of double coat. Put them in the bin or don't bother. Yeah. Because that's, that's where I'm at. <laughs> that's how I feel about that. <laughs> but, mate, if it's single coat or nothing, you're fucking yamming the whole fucking pack. Don't yeah. lie, I can't. Yeah, well, either, if I got to eat the single coats, I'm needing the whole, the entire yeah. pack just to, yeah. Oh, leaving one, you fucking sick. Yeah, that's dog shit. Um, and and then, my charge. Which and I, then which what I do I do? Friends? Fuck. And then the bro, bro he, let me take you through my biscuit intake on the weekend. <laughs> This is insane. I'm an addict. I've come to like, whether it's like drugs, alcohol, treats, I have no off switch. I'm an addict. I've made peace with that. I just have to preface it before I tell you what I ate on the weekend. 
<laughs> yep. King, pack of Kingston's, pack of Coles Ultimate. The missus found this log at uh, in the toilet. No, she found this log at um, Woolworths and it was like a caramel slice, right? But instead of being your traditional caramel slice, it was like chalk chip cookie Whoa. either side. So it was like a picture of a giant rectangle. Yeah. It's chocolate biscuit, yep. chocolate biscuit, and the middle's got caramel. Whoa. So it was like a sandwich. So that I got, I got through the bulk of that before I made myself sick. And then Sunday was uh, she found these gluten-free chocolate brownies. I don't know why she got gluten-free. I've already nearly killed myself with sugar. <laughs> and we had them with like cream and strawberries. It was insane weekend on the tooth. God, you do froth a treat. It was in. It was an insane weekend, bro. I'm down nine kilos, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, fuck it. So I'm like, I'm like, and then that just compounds it because I go, well, what I'm doing's working, so I can eat whatever the fuck I. Want. I'm sure my doctor would t- like my bloods and stuff would be horrific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel and look good, so <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but that's just compounding it because I'm losing all this weight because of training. I'm like, well, I can definitely eat what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking crazy. Every time I think I have a grasp on how much you enjoy, like, treating, you you fucking impress me again. I'm a sick... I just go, wow. I'm a sick fucking puppy. <laughs> do you only stop because they're gone? Yeah. <laughs> fucking <laughs> oath I do, bro. Sometimes there are there are sometimes I make myself sick. Like when we if we get high, <laughs> you're a toddler. Girl. If we get if we get high and eat treats, there are times where I'll pull up because I'm like, okay, now I'm getting sick. Yeah, because I've eaten that much, and it's usually a big savory feed into a big sweet feed. Yeah, and sometimes I'll be like, okay, now I'm getting sick because you because you're high, you're just going, Wah. and then then it, all of a sudden you come to and you're like. What the f- oh, Okay yeah. It needs to stop now um, But generally It's just because I run out Yeah That's good Much stuff. like with everything else I indulge in I only stop because I've run <laughs> out <laughs> Beers Yeah when the carton's empty Yeah That's what it's all about mm. uh, There was something else I wanted to bring to your attention But And if you get the notes up mm. uh, Instagram would lead me to believe That it's already in your attention have you heard of this dude? Davis Clark. Clark. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the notes. Yeah. Bro, let's get locked into Davis Clark right now. Davis Clark. Bro, let's, uh, so let's lock like, the fuck in right now to Davis Clark. Office office job hero, I suppose. He started, I don't know the backstory of Davis Clark. I'm relatively new to Davis Clark as an influencer, as a character. <laughs> as an inspiration. Yeah, he's recently come into my life. Um I don't know his backstory. I know I only know him from cringe pages. Yeah. Because originally Davis Clark. So Davis Clark is a dude. He's a guy. That, that's pretty much it, actually. He's just a dude. <laughs> He's just a dude. Yeah. Um, he was he might he might have started by posting like kind of in the in the same vein as what real estate agents do. Selfies, let's lock in today, guys. Friday, big day today. Like it was let's that lock kind of in. let's lock let's lock in. His thing. coined locking in and bad day to be a yeah like whatever he's doing. Like if if it was me, it's like bad day to be some scaffold. Yep, I'm locked in as a bad day to be some scaffold pins. All the comments like hammer him to bad day to be an Excel spreadsheet. He started because he's kind of weird looking and he's obviously a little bit awkward and uh, people were just hammering him because they thought he was a robot for ages. Mm. He's like, can we can we clip some Davis Clark in so yeah, people get, get a taste? If you click on the second link under it, it there is a good one that I like. I'm it's all. Nice I'm, to find. I'm fucking heavy on Davis Clark. Oh, the second one. Yeah, yeah, the second one. That's a that's a specific one that's ready to go. Yeah. I'm I'm big on. I'm fucking yeah, real big on this channel. Yeah, I was today, but it's time to lock the heck in and keep this struggle bus rolling. One day at a time. Let's get it done. Running on fumes today. Yeah. But that's that's a famous one of his. That's 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 famous DC. Um, he's the man. He gets peppered, but people are getting on board with it now. He's from Boston, which I love. His, love Boston. His comments flip, bro. It turned to hate to love. It's gone full circle. He's got f- half. A, he had four hundred the other day, so he's gone. He's going absolutely viral right now. Uh, he's rap- at half a million followers. Uh, his bio reads: "Inspire, help others, do the right thing, enjoy life every day, rise up." He's Locked also in for greatness. He's also trademarked it. Locked in yeah. for greatness is trademarked. Yeah. So it's gone, which I love. This is like a proper like social media success story because he no doubt rose to prominence from cunts shitting on him yep. on cringe pages. It's gathered traction, gathered traction, and then people have gone, no, you know fuck what? it. Yeah. This guy rules. He's got good intentions. He's kind of funny. He's not trying to be a cool cunt. He's yeah. just being himself. Yeah, it's a bit cringe, but guess what? He's actually fucking killing it. Yeah. 
and it's fucking. It's nice. It's nice, um, and it does get you fired up. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Bro, I want to get locked. I'm locked in, fucking right now, just talking about it. I'm locked in for greatness right now. Uh, on Patreon, we often dive into the comment section, and it's normally a lot of negative shit. Now, this is one comment on um, Davis Clark's post. Davis, I'll be honest, your posts lately have been terrible. Dot dot dot. They reply to their own comment. News for my enemies because now I'm locked in. <laughs> <laughs> It's like people just got on board with it. Yeah. It's fucking sick. I'm so pumped you brought Davis Clark to the pod because I've been, he's been a guilty pleasure of mine like the last probably fortnight. Yeah. I've been locking in in secret, not in secret, but like I'm having a scroll and then I'll get a bit of DC. So I'll hit it and I'll go like down a little bit of a, and then I, it's one of them ones. It's like, if the missus sees it, you're like, there's no point even trying to explain to her. Yeah. There's no, she's going to think I'm a fucking psycho. She's not going to think it's funny. No. Nah. There's no point. So it's kind of like, it's one of them ones where you, you scroll into yourself with that one. Locked in. Yeah, for sure. I'm locking in in private for, with DC. Great podcast title. Yeah. Locked in. Locked in. The boys are fucking locked in. Locked in for in. greatness. Locked in. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Sort it. That's, I'm locking that into the notes right now. <laughs> I'm also, you you may notice this episode, locked in is going to get an absolute <laughs> flogging too. <laughs> this, I wasn't going to read this. What is it? Oh, I'll read what I want to do first. Uh, David, I, let, I met you last night. I haven't washed my hands since. Hilarious. This next one just says, meat reveal time. Triple X for Max. Yeah, he's got to show us his hog. I love the fedora. He's been running in a couple of stories. Yeah. I think he was partying. He's been doing a bit of partying. He's fucking, he's a bit of a party boy, I think, too. I think he started doing that. There was one that was really good and it was like, young people like to get to work early. Uh, and like, don't, and be responsible on weekends. The mainstream media won't tell you that. Let's keep proving them wrong. Yeah, he's like, because he's like, <laughs> his work, his work, then play. Yeah, like he's like, he's a big, he's an office jockey. I think he's a pencil jockey, but he's work and then he's play. And he's like, he was he he saddled up to a young fella on the bus, and he's like. Like Gabe Thomas locked in, got the physics yeah. exam today. Locked in, let's go! And then all the boys on the bus are like, let's go! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, bro. Davis Clark, get right around him. We're locked in for greatness. We're locked in for greatness. Fucking I. That's um, <laughs> I had to bring that to the. I'm so up pumped you did because I I was like I got to bring him in, and then everyone I scrolled through liked by Daily Blue News. I yeah. was like, oh, sick. So, been, you, so you're on board. I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been locked in for a couple of weeks now. It's been nice. It's so funny that, so like, I like this angle of social media of like that dude, maybe, maybe on the spectrum, mm. maybe, but people actually being like, for sure, whatever, you're actually pretty sick. Yeah. Like rapper Russ follows him. He's like, like you said, he's got half a mil. These other dudes who, and you've probably even seen their videos, they like just sing shit really randomly. And one of them looks like Andy Samberg. No, no, no anyway. No. But like, they just like sing really shit. <laughs> but, like, but like, now Drake follows him yeah. and like shit like that. So yeah. all these little social media people are getting attention from actual A-listers now. Yeah, it'd be nice. It's funny. Yeah. 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 Wink, wink. Yeah, Drake. <laughs> Please. What Bluey's never said anything crazy about you, Drake. Just don't listen to the old episode. It would be funny if Drake started hopping on like our socials and commenting and being like, fuck, fuck you, Bluey. Like, <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> Drake started hating. Drake, Drake, and he's like, Gabe, check your DMs. He's yeah. like, he's like looking after you, sending you like Rolexes and shit. And he's if, like, fuck you, if Bluey. If you see this one day, do feel free to comment, Bluey, you're a cocksucker. Yeah, it'd be fine. Or anyone, actually. Anyone, anyone to comment that. Yeah, for sure. No doubt the newsroom's <laughs> going to be filled with Bluey's a cocksucker stuff. That's fine. That's what it is. Uh, what else did you do on the weekend? Man, I had a fucking lazy ass day too. I treated Saturday like a Sunday. Woke up late, got on the couch, couldn't decide what I wanted for lunch. So I went and got KFC. Nice. Ate half of it, fell asleep. Woke up, watched the footy. Keen to talk about the footy and sport this week. For sure. Specifically, uh, well, I don't know I can talk about Rabbitohs, but <laughs> uh, Xavier Coates. Yeah. Crazy. Freak. Um, yeah. Chill, chill week, bro. Nice. Yeah, it's been good. It's been fucking good. I'm, uh, what do we got? Yeah, this weekend I'm locked in for another fucking, <laughs> I'm locked in for a couch weekend again this weekend too. Yeah. I've got one of my good mates, he's, uh, his partner's 40th, which is at a relatively night, nice, like do really good pizza. So I'm going to, Get myself real hungry. I'm going to fucking go and pig out. See you later. Lounge. Oh, bang. Where, where is it? I've been looking for good pizza. Parry Street Garage. Uh, oh, good yeah. Pizza. I've, I've been yeah. there. Parry Street's nice. Yeah. So That's gonna, a good date spot. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah, it is. It is. It is very good. My partner used to work there. Yeah. I used to go there and sleaze on her. 
used to go and saddle up to the bar in Anoya while she was working. Before she was your missus? Yes. Good I used to go stuff, and, I used to go bro. and annoy her. Slays it on she, bar stuff. She'd give me the odd free screw and I was like, she likes me. He's like, yeah. no, she does that to everyone. <laughs> no, she wants you to go away. She wants you to get your drink and fuck off because you're annoying her. <laughs> <laughs> you better not have been giving those to fucking other people. No. <laughs> you roll over one day, random middle of the night. Are you serious about saying you give other people free scanners? She better not have been. <laughs> you fucking, fucking better not have been. <laughs> um, is it news time, bro? I reckon, judging on our time constraints, I reckon we get stuck into some news, mate, because you've got some crackers here. Okay, updated news. You may have heard some news this week that Bruno Mars was in some shit with the MGM Casino. There was rumours going around that he had a $50 million gambling debt. Uh, how the fuck do you tick up 50... Well, I know it would happen, but that yeah. is nuts to tick up 50 million. Anyway, he didn't do it. We've had an update. Uh, it's come out that that is not true. MGM denies claim Bruno Mars has 50 million gambling debt with Casino. MGM Casino has come out and said, we're proud of our relationship with Bruno Mars, one of the world's most thrilling and dynamic performers. Get off his cock. <laughs> MGM wrote in a statement provided to Complex, from his shows at Dolby Live Park, MGM, to the new Pinky Ring Lounge at the Bellagio. That sounds horny, by the way. Yeah. The Pinky Ring Lounge. Bruno's brand of entertainment attracts visitors from around the globe. MGM, blah, 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 just sucking him off. Bruno is not ticked up to the eyeballs with the MGM, as mainstream media would have had you believe. One thing I did hear a little while ago, he got he did get caught with rack. Oh, really? <laughs> he did get it Arrested and uh, I think he got arrested and he had rack on him. Wait. He obviously is a party boy. Yeah, bro. He obviously fucking is a lot of fun. Look at him. And look at him. Yeah, I mean he's got the shades on. Fuck he's got um Davis Clark's fedora, obviously inspired by the man himself. He's locked in for he's locked in for some punting there. Yeah, he's locked in he, for a night at the table. He's locked in for chalking and punting, no <laughs> doubt. Um I think look, it's saying MGM denies it. Maybe Bruno Mars was hating the press. Because it was a huge story, and they normally say when there's smoke, there's fire. It's so not a great thing to be out in the public that you owe $50 million as a gambling debt. Yes. I would want that squashed if it wasn't true. 100%. <laughs> well, you'd want it squashed either way, right? In yeah. The public, Even right. if it was true, I would say, shut the fuck up, yeah. cunt. What the fuck? You fucking lent me that money. Yeah. It's, I'm going to get it. Yeah. yeah. But maybe he just won one big hand. It's like, actually, he's paid it off now. Yeah. Just give me another 50 and I'm putting it on red. But he, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, now give me 200. Fuck! <laughs> yeah, sure, surely just keep double or nothing. It Obviously. can't be that fucking hard. Oh, mate, you're one hand away from fucking greatness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's going to be hard to stop yeah, doing that now. just from greatness. It's going to be real hard to stop doing uh, that. Yeah. Have you ever watched the... Oh, you pro, I don't know what I'm going to ask, but I'm going to... The Elvis movie? Do, do you Have think you, I've yeah. watched the Elvis movie? Yeah, nah. <laughs> but do you know his story? Like he got, he, it's no, he sick. died on the shitter and yeah. he liked eating fucking... He, I'm probably going the way of Elvis because he died from eating peanut butter. That, you know that sandwich that he used to eat? His signature yeah, sandwich? It was gross, wasn't it? He, yeah, get it I'll up. Google it. Google up, Elvis' signature sandwich. It was obscene. And he died on the toilet, I think, from a heart attack. I know that Which much. is, I'm going... I'm going that way. Dying on a toilet wouldn't be so bad. Like, if you get the shit out. I mean, obviously, the way you're being found won't be that nice. But sorry, you got you got peanut it. butter and banana. Oh yeah, bacon. Oh, and yeah, peanut butter, banana, and bacon sandwich. I might have to try that one day. Eight thousand calorie sandwich, fool's gold loaf. Somewhere yeah. would sell it, like the Elvis sourdough bread, pound of bacon, jar of peanut butter, oh, and jelly too. A like jar, <laughs> oh jar. I don't know. That might be. Well, he did die on the toilet, so yeah. I mean, yeah. Sounds like, yeah, if you ate them, you might, yeah, enough, you probably would die on the toilet. I started to think it was a similar story with Bruno Mars. Like, I'm pretty sure Elvis had a gambling problem and it pretty much seemed like the casino he signed a deal with pretty much owned him. Yeah. And that's what was implied the first time I looked at that news article from Bruno Mars. It's like MGM essentially owns Bruno well, Mars. They would because they get residents, like they get these residencies and like they would be staying there. Well, I don't think they They'd all do get stay a crazy there. crazy advance. Yeah, for sure. And they're getting, yeah. But the thing is too, I don't know if they do stay there. Well, Calvin Harris has been, they just fly in and out. Yeah. Like they, these fucking lunatics, they'll have a show on a Friday at the MGM, they'll go and do shows all week and then fly in on Friday, hit it, fly out. Like, it's a fucking hectic lifestyle. Yeah. But also, they would just be like, yeah, take me to the high rollers. I'm going to fucking punt a million bucks. Yeah. Oh, I've just done a show also for an hour and made fucking some cunts oh, yearly wage. Oh, yeah. It'd be horny. Rufus uh, Dussault has just got a residency in June. They've got like a fucking six-week residency at Omni or Aria or one of the clubs there. In Vegas. In Vegas, oh, yeah. Gee. So, yeah. you will be back there soon. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll have to go. Mid- than- I have to go mid year. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, speaking of fucking DJs, have you been seeing all this Fred again shit? Oh my god! Mate, it's how did the hype go from? I thought it's peak to fucking tripling. How do you think? <laughs> Us. I talk shit about him. Yeah. <laughs> That's how, bro. Your negative press. I, I talk shit about him, and everyone's like, "We'll show you." He's, I'm going to do the domain in Sydney five times, Opera House. Also, he has he doesn't like market any of his shows. He just does an Instagram story. He's like, I'm going to be at domain this weekend. That's 30,000 people. I think he did three shows there. You of all people got to froth that. You got to think that's mad. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's so sick. So, I never said he was shit. I just said he gets no, a little no. bit too much credit for the B-pad no, work. I, I agree. But it like, looks I'm, amazing. I'm just saying like he's living a lot of artists – you could even say stand ups, like dreams of just being like, I'm going to be here, by the way. Apparently, Dave Chappelle, day before. Dave Chappelle does that. He'll yeah. just land, like, he's notorious for just turning up in a city because he like, rides his motorbike. And he'll just ride through a city and go to the comedy club and be like, hey, can I do some shows here tonight? And they're yeah. like, yeah. And they'll just post their social media, like, Dave Chappelle's here. We have 200 tickets if you want to come. Like, what the fuck? Yep. Yeah. Very cool. That's that's so sick. Yeah. He's the, but the, there's got to be more logistically to it. The, like he's not just rocking up because they have to get. You've seen the no. the footage of the shows. Like that's a big setup. The behind the closed doors. Yeah, it, there's obviously a back and forth. But in terms of promotion, in terms of marketing, yeah, it's a fair ha- pun. Hey, I'm gonna be there because it, it's packed. It costs a lot to put those shows on, like to rent that venue, security, alcohol, staff, lighting. All that doesn't just happen. It costs a lot to make that happen, and then to not promote it and just hope that, like. I'm just going to do an Instagram story. Hopefully 30,000 people come. We sell it out. So we make some money. Yeah. Like imagine we did like- He's done like his whole two- He's been here for months. Yeah. And Bro, it seems like he's not leaving. But Tuna did a good article. Yeah, they did. <laughs> it's like seem- yeah, seemingly um, been here for months. The shows look fucking hectic. They do. They look fucking so sick. Yeah. They go off their heads. And again, like I'm surprised that he promotes them day out and people are panning around the arenas. And I'm like, holy fuck, that thing is full. Mm-hmm. Like if we were to promote a 50th show special- Hypothetically, in the, the next the, two months. No, but if we were to announce it like the day before it happened, there's no way. I That's, don't know if we'd get ten people to come. No, including family and friends. Yeah. Like, yeah, I've got shit on, mate. Also, just keep that one. Fifty show is two and a half months away. Mm. Well, this, is this episode forty right now? Yeah, yeah. So we're like ten shows away. So we will. We, I mean, yeah. Keep that one in the fucking when, diary. Will, will that land? Be- that will land after after the, the fucking, fights. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we could be in for a big fucking. Couple it's going to be a big couple of months, baby. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep, yeah, keep that one in your diaries for the fiftieth. Might yeah. be, might be a live show in the works. Yeah, might be. We'll um, not the best logistically, but we'll we'll, we'll check get back, there. check back with you with that one. Uh next story. Madame Two Swords, uh, which is the very famous wax museum. I think they're in New York, London. Uh, there's one in Vegas. Paris. They're all over the world. Yep. They do wax figures of celebrities. You and I haven't got one yet. No, not yet. Feel fucking filthy about that, by the way. I know. I've got an email to send, actually. About yeah, that. sternly worded. This uh, might be the one decent one I've ever seen. They're normally pretty fucking weird looking. They've done Dua Lipa. I love Dua Lipa. Do you? <laughs> I fucking love Dua Lipa. I, I don't care for Dua Lipa. That's where you and I differ, my friend, because I think she, I would love to meet her. Yeah. <laughs> That's Sing it. Sing her praises. That's it. Love her music. Think she's all right looking too. This one's spot on. The reason that this um is made a story is because the comment section is fucking crazy again. The Is this the comment section on the Madam Two Swords or this this article that you've posted? Uh, are you on the Instagram version? I am, yeah. Yeah. The, <laughs> <laughs> the top comment on this photo of the Dua Lipa wax figure is they're going to be escorting me out in handcuffs. 9,748 <laughs> likes. He's going to fuck the wax model. <laughs> About to put a hole in that candle. Next <laughs> comment. <laughs> <laughs> that wax figure is not safe if I'm around. That's a threat to the wax figure. That's so funny. It's just dudes saying they're going to fuck the wax figure. <laughs> Two minutes with this. That's so funny. Yeah, I had to. I had to bring this one up. We no, we don't normally dive into the comment section on um on the main show, but I mean, it is news that she's been um she's been granted yeah. entrance to Manchester. Do you know her real name? That's her name. Do a it's not a stage name. They're Armenian, I think. Oh. Like where the Kardashians and the Bilzerians and I think. Don't quote me on that. I better fact check myself right now. But her. First name Dua, surname Leaper. Her dad's a fucking shock me, a fucking uh, radio exec. Uh, let me let me just fact check myself live because uh, I don't want to. Albanian, my mistake. She's Albanian. Albanian. Yeah, that might be what you said. Um, no, I said Armenian. Uh, uh, oh, fucking same difference. But uh, <laughs> yeah, her her mum is an Anisa Leaper, and her dad is 
Duka Jin Leaper. The Duka surname Jin is Leaper, Leaper, and her first name is Dua, and her surname is Leaper. So you would be you would have thought it was like a cool stage name yeah, or something. Yeah, definitely. Real name's Leaper. There's some fucking facts. Who said you don't learn on this show? We keep telling them, bro. Yeah. She's only 28 too. Oh, yeah. It's, well, a little bit older than me. Yeah. That's, probably in between the pair of us, really. Yeah. Yeah. Good height. Just come on the show, Dua. We'd love to learn more about your Dua. Albanian. Do us a favor. <laughs> <laughs> I just make dumb jokes like that and ruin it. Yeah, she's. she's you, not- you just keep saying that though. You, just, you don't make any new ones. Do it. I'll be going like, do a. Uh, do you? Do a. Uh, you sleep naked. <laughs> Weird stuff like that. I probably just ruin it. Just like that. Asking for a friend. Yeah. All good. Uh. Yeah. Congrats, Dua Lipa's got a wax statue and loads of blokes want to fuck it. Apparently, there's that story. <laughs> Breaking news. Uh, breaking news. Dua Lipa has a wax figure that uh, lots of guys want to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this so, one's right up my yeah, alley. Here's one we can both get behind, mate. Hundreds in Mexico City take a mass nap to commemorate World Sleep Day. When was World Sleep Day? That's uh, fuck. So the Mexicans love their siestas. Mm. They've had a mass siesta to commemorate World Sleep Day. Huge respect. Fucking massive, massive respect for this. Was this one's hit home for me? This Ta- is great stuff. Yeah, taking a massive yes in the middle of the work day. That is something I can well and truly get behind, man. Well, the bros love it. The Mexican, uh, South Americans, the Spanish, I think, are big on their siestas too. They love it because it gets hot too. And I think they have fucking big lunches. Wait, so what's what is siesta? That's a nap in like the middle of the day. Oh, that's what a siesta yeah, is. Yeah, I think it's like a. Yeah. I'll Google the exact. Term like what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's just the it's just the boys well, that, fucking getting the head down like midday. Yeah, no, nah, that's it. that's so. It's sick. a nap or an afternoon rest. Uh, so it's Spanish an afternoon nap. Yeah. Oh mate. So the, yeah. If so, there's one thing that Daily Blue Weekly gets behind, it's fucking siestas. Yeah, uh, I was like fucking back when I when I was living in my party house, mm-hmm. I was a not so much. Well, kind of was a siesta, but more so when because I. Wouldn't sleep a lot on the weekends. So yeah. from literally probably Monday to Thursday, I would come home from work at like four, sleep till like, it was very unhealthy. It's probably borderline depression behavior now, think about it. But I would sleep from like four till six, get up, have some food and then go back to bed just to catch up on all the sleep I missed on the weekend. Yeah, Because yeah, in yeah. my head, I would be like, I missed, say I missed eight hours sleep on the weekend. I didn't go to bed one night. I missed eight hours. Then I would go, okay, so if I get two hours, an extra two hours, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the eight hours that I missed. Unfortunately, I just kept repeating that cycle for a couple of years. But you still, you eventually got it back. Well, now. Yeah. Just last weekend, I caught it up. The <laughs> yeah. weekend just gone. Tick. Yeah, done. I'm square. And then we got um, the boxing after party, so you'll be catching up again. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, so CS's rule. Huge, uh, huge the event was out. organized by the Center for Sleep and Neurosciences and the Mexican Society for the Investigation of Medicine and Sleep. So apparently there was a bit of a cause behind it. Yeah, whatever. I'm having a lady. I don't yeah. care if there's a cause or not. I'm yeah. fucking, I'm siestering. That's great stuff. Yeah, mate. Not like I, if we did an overrated, underrated on naps, I know people like to suck them off. Truth be told, I'm one of them. I don't think I don't think I get enough fucking. You don't think naps get enough sucking? I don't think they're. Yeah, I don't think they're. I think because people are so focused on, everyone wants to be like a productive, the locked grind. in. Everyone's locking in for greatness in the grind. <laughs> so there's no time. This is not a shot at Davis Clark either. Of course, no. I'm sure he locks in for the odd nap every now and then. You can lock into a nap. Oh fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah, you as can. As soon as I hit that couch after I knock off, I'm locked into I'm, the nap. I'm locked in for siestas. <laughs> but Davis, Clark, yeah, like everyone's like, oh, I'm grinding, hustling, blah, blah, blah. I'm so fucking busy. So no one's probably going to openly tell you that they're siestering, mm. but they should. They should. They're very, very horny. Embrace the siesta. That's Fine our on. message this week. Yeah. If you take something away from this pod, give, give yourself a little siesta. <laughs> <laughs> Son of OnlyFans model admits he films his mother's content. Okay, that's crook. Uh, while most teenage sons can't be bothered unloading the dishwasher for their mothers, this one goes above and beyond. And, and Dresser Urak is a successful OnlyFans content creator. Boasts over 3 million followers on Instagram. The former Miss Bum Bum model hails from Brazil, <laughs> of course. Miss Bum Bum was going to come from Brazil. And prior to her OnlyFans career was a successful dancer. This is just shaping up beautifully. Mate, uh, have you heard of the Oedipus Complex? 
Oh yeah, when you want to fuck your mom. Yep. Yeah. That's um. That's yeah. what. The, that's where this is leading to me. Also, he's funny that it's eat a puss like eat a puss. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, during the Instagram Q and A last summer, Andressa's son Arthur, who was eighteen at the time, was asked, "Arthur, are you the one who films Andressa's OnlyFans?" Yep. And I'm really bad ass with the pictures, right? So he's fucking proud of it. Yeah. He's stoked that he's taking these pics of his mum. Yeah, Dude, he's getting peppered on the Q&A too, the poor it, bugger. It makes you, makes me shiver thinking about that, bro. I mean, to be fair, his mum is a sort. Um, yeah. But I think you still got to put a line through that, don't you? Yeah. It's weird, bro. One person asked him, are you not ashamed of your mother selling herself? Do you film her like this? To which a teenager replied... I'm not ashamed. I'm very serene with her decision. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, fuck. I mean, I don't even know. What sort of content is she shooting? Is she getting jackhammered or is she just like, what sort? what's she doing? Uh, I didn't do my due diligence there. We we have a business account for shit like this. <laughs> mate. You're going to bring, you're going to bring only fans content to the show. I don't want to sound like an idiot in front of the audience. We need to fucking watch it. We need to see. What for the she's show, getting up to. For the show, the girls will understand. Yeah, for the show, they know we're professionals. It's not for anything else other than so we can relay this information to people. <laughs> the Daily Blue Circle. It her. is. Yeah, I mean that guy obviously wants to fuck his mum. There's no two ways about it. You can say whatever you want. He obviously wants to fuck his mum. Yeah. Hell, I want to fuck his mum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, here's my one devil's advocate for him. His mum probably makes bank when he takes those photos. She, yeah, but surely someone else could do it. Yeah, you'd think. And like, mum, like, mum, I'm not filming this. You understand why I don't want to film it. Can I please still have some of the millions of dollars you're making? Yeah, please. 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 Like, I know I, I know it's a little bit inconvenient that I don't want to film it. Can we get, like, can dad film it? Can someone else <laughs> film it? It's weird that you're asking me to do it. I can I please still have some of the money even though I'm not filming it? That's I not too much to ask. I understand you want to start a family business, mum. I was thinking more something like a law firm. I'll do the admin. I'll yep. do the accounting. Yep. I'll do – just don't make me film it. Please, I'll get an apprentice. Yeah. I'll split half my wage. Yeah. Anything so I don't Mind you, if this. your mum was that hot, you probably would want to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're, we're looking at it from our perspective. Yeah. Look, yeah. If, look if my mum fucking asked, I'd say, hey – no, and I'm not sure I re- really want to be related to you anymore. Your grub mates would be queuing up too. Your, your boys would be like, oh. Like, Mate. <laughs> that is everyone's nightmare, isn't it? Having a hot mum or a hot sister. All right, here's one for you. And I'm vaguely know the answer again. Missus wants to start an OnlyFans. You're guaranteed she only has to post not videos – Lingerie shit. Maybe she's covering the nips, so no nipple exposure. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. If she if she wants to do it, and I'm gonna get incentivized financially. Yeah. Yeah. Play on. You you get fuck ten percent. Pack a double coat Tim Tams. And <laughs> <laughs> a hot cup. Of, pack a double coat Tim Tams. A hot cup of tea. As long as she's following her heart. And Super Saturday, bro. If she wants to do it, I'm not gonna tell me misses what she can and can't do. And if I'm gonna get financially incentivized, then fucking oath. What if there's no financial? In- Pack, pack of Tim Tams? No. Nah. Cole's Ultimate? <laughs> <laughs> two a week. Two boxes or two Cookies. Bickies? No, I need a box, eh? <laughs> yeah. I need a box of Bickies to sign off on that one. <laughs> nah, he's fucking, yeah, it's sweet. Might cause a bit of friction, but I'm sure I'll get over it. Fucking good on you, man. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that. Like, <laughs> I can say, like, see if it happens. Talk to me if it actually happens, mate. But I'll have to set a prank up. Yeah. I now mean, I'll stitch myself up there. Shouldn't have given that away. Yeah. I heard you on the podcast, Flo. Do you really think it'd be a good idea? We are saving for a house. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, if you're <laughs> going to get paid. Bernie Sanders introduces Bill that would make a 32-hour work week the standard with no less pay. Very good. So Senator Bernie, so Bernie Sanders ran for president years ago. Yep. Uh, he's a big, uh, he's a big lefty. Yep. He's a big liberal lefty, and uh, so he's the independent senator for Z- Vermont. And this week introduced a bill that would shorten to 32 hours the amount of time and many Americans can work each week before they owed overtime. Yep. So your overtime starts at 33 hours, not fucking 40. Yeah. Hectic. That'd be all right. Yeah. Um, given advances in automation, robotics, and artificial intelligence, Sanders says US companies can afford to give employees more time off without cutting their pay and benefits. Critics say a mandated shorter week would force many companies to hire additional workers and lose productivity. Yeah. Here's what to know about the issue. 
Okay. I think there's Jack fucking fuck all chance of this getting through. There is no – because, I mean, the whole idea of – Automation and that kind of thing is yeah. like your biggest overheads are wages. Yeah. So like, no, I'm not saying I'm in favour of it. I'm just saying that's like that's that, the truth. The idea is if you can spend ten grand on a machine that's going to do the job of two people that cost you fucking eighty Over grand how many a year. Years. Yep. You know what I mean? So of course companies, if they get the aut- the automation, it, he's right. They should do that. Yeah. That's the right thing to do. Yeah. But capitalist monsters, yeah, get, that are, guess all businessmen like, yeah, greedy capitalist <laughs> pigs like us, do ray me. <laughs> That's they're in it for the fucking freight. So unfortunately, if it frees up the workers, they're not going to give them time off. They're going to say, nah. "Here's another shit job for you," or "Fuck off, your job's been replaced by a machine." Yeah. But love Bernie Sanders. He's cool. I love. I love what he's about. I know. Pe- I know people like him. Yeah, but, but I know fuck all about him. I like that idea for people. Um, but also, guess who's fucking keeping the government afloat? Mm. Big business. Big business and big business. <laughs> and they're not going to like Bernie for that one. Big business like fucking the little guy. And also, that's just my opinion. Maximising sure well infinite fucking uh, infinite growth and profit margins. You don't get that by paying people to do less, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, however, that would be sick, man. A 32-hour week. I uh, You talk to some guys who do shit. Like, they still do 40 hours, but they do, like, say, four tens. Like, guys that might work in the pits, and they do, like, Monday to Thursday, they do four 10-hour shifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Having, like, a three-day weekend every weekend, that'd be fucking sick. Well, I've heard um, of studies. I'm not going to quote them. Maybe they don't even exist. I just think they do. Let's do oi, uh, oi, oi, just here's, – here's the deal with that. Just say, yeah. just say, there I read a study. Just say, I read a study yeah. that and then say it with a bit of confidence. <laughs> and people will believe it. Go. I read a study that uh, Perfect. productivity actually doesn't go down with less hours of work. Yeah. It's, there is actually a thing. <laughs> That's a good clip intro. It's so called the something. Of off. <laughs> it's not Hockham's razor. It's something. And it's like whatever amount of time you give to yourself to do a task, you could pretty much do it. So say like a gym session. Mm. So like if you want to go to the gym and you give yourself an hour and 20, you'll, you could probably do that same session in 40 minutes, but you just give yourself an hour and 20 to do it. It's kind of the same theory with like the work week. If I give you X amount of tasks to do in 40 hours, mm. you could probably do them in 32. Obviously, if they're not fucking ridiculous, you could probably do them in 32 hours, but because you've got 40 hours, you'll take 40 hours. Mm. There is a name for this theory. That's escaping us right now. There is a name for this. There's a hole in this theory because like I'll give myself like a whole 30 minutes with the missus. I'll get that done in fucking two minutes, mate. Yeah. That's the, I mean, for every rule, there is an exception. <laughs> Very good point. That's the, that's the that's exception. That's the exception. That's the exception. Um, yeah. So, but I mean, it'd be, it'd be cool. It'd be fucking real nice to only work four days a week. Do you, do your boys work 40 hours? The, yeah, our, our boys are casual. Yeah, one, yeah. We've got one permanent part-time and then there's two of us that are full-time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so like, I mean, yeah. And then they get, they get overtime after like once it yeah, ticks yeah, over eight hours, all that kind of thing. Um, standard. Operating procedure, but four day work week would be nice. I like uh, talking about cool rosters. Like, I mean, the fireys, like, obviously, it's a fucking crazy, dangerous job, but the fireys roster. Sometimes they're just sleeping and gymming. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But sometimes they're fucking in burning buildings and fucking Getting car crashes and, and, trees shit. and shit. Yeah. Um, the wharfies, a few of the wharfies uh, mates of mine that work on the wharfs, they work six months of the year. They call it a lifestyle roster. So they do uh, seven days. So they do a week of day work, a week of night work, week off. So that's seven days. Yeah. So 14 straight, seven off. Off, and then they do week of days, week of nights, so another 14 straight, then they get three weeks off. So every, yeah, every like four weeks they get like fucking, so they get three weeks off straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like regular, like it's fucking very cool. Is it cool? Yeah. Like, it seems fucking yeah, sick. <laughs> but, but like I do see, initially you think that's mad. And even with the minds, you think that's mad. Then you remember blokes come home for a week and like all their mates are still working and shit. Yeah, but if you're a family... Yeah, if you're like, a family, it's fuck nice. your mates. If yeah. you've got a family, like, yeah, and you that will catch up with the boys, whatever. But, yeah, if you've got, like, like a young family, that you're, like, your missus isn't full-time, you just get to fucking hang out with your family all the time, unbeatable. Or if you like punting and drinking by yourself, <laughs> pub, pubs are open <laughs> all the you, time, bro. If you have depression. No, if you just like fucking a quiet schooner <laughs> and a punt by yourself. Yeah, you're fucking, a few schooners and a punt. Yeah, then that's fucking sick too. Or that's just, like, like, doing things. Yeah. Yeah. But there is that downside is all I'm saying. Yeah, and your mates, be- everyone's at work. That's the FIFA. I think that's the thing with a lot of guys who do fly in, fly out is obviously they're away, they're missing a lot of stuff. And then when they come back 
everyone's at work. Yeah. So they get their six days off Monday to Saturday. Just to wait to the weekend. And like, everyone's at work. So they're just plotting. And like they have no family, <laughs> like whatever. Um, that, you know, I mean, there's swings and roundabouts with everything. It would be hard. That definitely would be hard for sure. Pros and cons of all that shit. But maybe they need to give get on the um, 32-hour work week. Vote for Bernie. I'd enjoy that. I might fucking bring that in next year. Guys. You're probably sick of Gabe and I crapping on every single week about Soulcat Design's amazing range of stainless steel water bottles, staying hydrated, as well as a very cool range of whiskey glasses. Mm -hmm. Something that sometimes gets overlooked, particularly by Gabe and I, especially coming into bean season. Now, for those of you that aren't aware what bean season is, as the mornings get a bit cooler, you might like to treat yourself to a coffee bean. Ah, I see. It was going over my head too. Now, it's coming into bean season. Soulcat do a very, very silky range of stainless steel keep cups. Um, I have traditionally been a small coffee guy. Yep. I've recently bumped up my order to a medium. Uh, reason being, I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> Caffeine's pretty handy for that. Now, what this in my hand, if you're obviously listening, it's a stainless steel coffee cup, uh, keep cup from Soul Cat. Holds a medium perfectly. You keeps beauty. it fucking piping hot. So good. In the car, job site, keeping myself busy while the boys do all the hard work, talking to the supervisors with my Soul Cat in my hand. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, and nothing makes you look like a boss, like doing nothing with a fucking keep cup. A in keep your hand. cup in your hand. It's, it's a bloke who. Professionally looks like he's busy <laughs> If you got one of these 100%. In your hand um, You know the deal by now guys You get 10% off With code Daily Blue, All one word Capital D Capital B These fucking lunatics Are still doing free shipping All over the country For orders over $99 They're losing their mind They've lost the plot I don't know how they're making any money doing that. Uh, you know the deal by now, guys. They're an Aussie-owned company. We love them. They're good mates of ours. Uh, soulcatdesigns.com. The link's in the show notes. 10% off. Code Daily Blue. Capital D. Capital B. All one word. Treat yourself to a keep cup this bean season. This week of the podcast is brought to you by our friends, Papa Macros. Mate, I, as you're aware, I was in Las Vegas recently. I didn't get a lot of nutrition. You may find that hard to believe. Um, <laughs> Shocking. If you're watching in the blue corner, I said I'd been training and looking after myself. That was a lie. Mm. I come back in terrible shape. Now, one thing that saved my bacon this week and the last couple of weeks was coming home to a fridge full of Papa Macros. Chef prepared. The nutrition is the main thing. All I did was sink piss and I had a couple of chicken wings one day. That was about as good as it got for my body. <laughs> it's nice. I've come home to a fridge full of – it's the veggies for me. Yeah. It's beautiful fresh veggies there. You get a nice hit of protein. Um, it's the shit. Look, I know the angle they want is it's good for like training at the gym and that, but as simple as that, this, if you're coming off a band, even one big night, you don't want to waste your money on Dirty Bird, you open that fridge, it's just like the sounds of heaven coming out. You pump that in the microwave and you are sorted. It's honestly the greatest ever. If you're like, I, you're 100% right, they probably, they're legends, Pub Macros, they probably don't want to sell them on the angle of they're good after a big weekend. But that's fuck the, they are. That's the reality of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the reality of it. Uh, you got a fridge full of them, you hate yourself just that bit less, mm -hmm. do something decent for your body, um, stop being a piece of shit basically. Stay away from the kernel. <laughs> Get yourself some Pub Macros. Guys, you know the deal. 10% off code Daily Blue, capital D, capital B, all one word. Uh, Papa Macros are fucking legends. Um, they've been supporting this show for, for a long time now. We love them. Fucking genuinely love their food too. Uh, and obviously you're supporting the show, you're supporting them. You know the deal. Links in the show notes. 10% off of code Daily Blue, all one word, capital D, capital B. Papa Macros, stop being a piece of shit. Sporting time. If you are not part of the Daily Blue tipping comp, you're a fucking loser. Unlucky. Uh, how'd you get, how are your tips, mate? It's too late. You've, you've missed the boat. The, the info is there. You can join, but you're going to be pushing shit uphill now. How'd you go? Uh, last week, I got two wrong. Two wrong, so six right. I got six. Yeah. Well, I, I got six. So. I tipped South, which uh, let me down. Yep. And I tipped uh, the fucking... Uh, the Dragons. Yep. The Dragons. Oh, I, I fucking absolute fucking amateur. I was six from six going into Sunday. Yep. Um, dumb cunt. Never do this. You do not do it. Change my tip. You changed it. I fucking, I tipped the Dolphins. I remember it. And then I went, oh, fuck. Were they that good last week? Were they that bad? Changed it to the Dragons. Fucking retard. Yeah. And, then, and then went, 
Bennett doesn't lose. Bennett loves beating his old teams. That's and true. And as soon as as soon as the game kicked off, I was like, Be- they're going to pump him. And they fuck up. That was so fucking amateurish. And then the Chooks Manly game, that was a coin toss. Manly were very good. Um, Chooks a little bit off at Brookvale. Probably should have just gone. And all the home teams won. Yeah. All the home teams oh, won. Oh, really? Was yeah, home team? all the home teams. Um, yeah, so fucking six. Uh, shout out to... Actually, yeah. Get Did on. anyone get the full round? Oh, I should have got this up beforehand. I don't know if someone got it in our comp. We've got at the top of the leaderboard, Nico with 17 points. I believe he's used his joker already. Round two, yeah, we had heaps of people got the full card. Berserkly, Evelyn S, Fishpool, Fried, Foster Knight, Jellybean442, Lloyd the Rook, Grey, Nifty1972, Sped Nero, Spiraling Lonzos, The Plastic, Sparky, and Zed Grade, all a full card. Congratulations, guys. That's fucking Horny tipping. Respect. And who's on top? Nico's joke it up. That's bold because he's only three in front of second yeah. place and he's used his joker. He's not staying there. Well, I mean, it's a long season. I wouldn't say not, but yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Uh, I'm down in Tide 55th on nine. Uh, all those guys on top are in 14, 14, 17. Long season, mate. That's round two. If you win them early, you're not winning them late, mate. That's exactly right. Get them in now. Um, into round three's footy. I'm so glad the footy's back, bro. Fucking blockbuster grand final rematch on Thursday night. Panthers Bronx. Here you go. It's that I'm gonna go the Panthers, but fuck, it's it's. I mean, that's gonna be a cracker. Yeah, I mean, well, Broncos at three sixty, bro. So it's again, it's probably not bad. That's value. probably probably tip Penrith. Put some money on Brisbane. Yeah, that's but fucking. I, I, I'm Panthers too. Gamble responsibly. Warriors milk was. Over Mars, there. Especially after their effort on the weekend. Yeah, that fucking won. spewing. Fuck, I'm so happy the footy's back, man. Yep. Chooks Rabbits, let's go. <laughs> That's a hell game. Third week in a row, I'm back on my boys. Hell game. It's got to be this week. Come on, boys. Couple of belters there. Uh, I, not to spot you, I'm going to tip the Roosters. Rabbitohs haven't shown me anything yet. Apparently, we're dropping Ilias. Yes, I heard that. Yeah. Lachlan Elias has been dropped and they've got oh, fuck knows who's playing halfback for you this weekend. Maybe Jackie. That shouldn't fill you with confidence. No. Nah, Whiten, I don't think they said someone else. Yeah. It's another young bloke. I don't know. The rabbit eyes are kind of fucking me off right now. Dogs, Titans. I'm going to go Titans. I'm going to put my tips in right now while we're doing this. Yeah, that's what I've done. Bang. I'm going to go Titans reluctantly. That could change. Dogs are due for a switch. They always fucking get beat at Belmore, the cunts, yeah. the dogs. And they shouldn't because it's a spiritual home of the Canterbury Banks down Bulldogs. They always get beat at Belmore. I'm going to tip the Titans too. Yeah. Desi's returned to Belmore too. Desi has a gone back to Belmore. Dra- Cowboys beat the Dragons, surely, I'm even though it's away. the Dragons again after last week. Nah, they were fucking back <laughs> to the Dragons of old. Sharky surely beat the Tigers. Yep. Eels Manly. Great uh, game. This is, looks like... That's a coin toss. Game. I'm going to tentatively tip... I don't like tip Manly, but I think I'm going to tip Manly. They me, look good. Me too. Me too. I'm already locked and in on Manly. Knights, um, Jerome Hughes out. Cameron Munster still out. What are you going to do, bro? It's at Mac Jones. <laughs> I know you still think you should tip the store. I do. <laughs> I'm tipping the store. And then not and Knights are favourites. Like, but... It's the Melbourne Storm. The two people they bring in will like somehow be yeah. just as good as Munster and Hughes. Fuck like, with you. I fucking might tip the Knights, <laughs> yeah. right? Against my better judge. I don't want to. Yeah. I'm going to go the Knights and I f- we fucking do cunt. If we go 0-3 to start the year, I won't tip them again this year. <laughs> that's where I'm at with CR. Yeah. I'll probably keep tipping. Cool. Fucking oath. How good the footy's back, and man. That makes me so happy. Out, I'm going to give to the Cowboys. Fucking oath. Um, on, while we're on the subject of rugby league, Xavier Coates' try, I know we're late on it by the time this comes out. It's been spoken about ad nauseum. That was – I was on the lounge. Yep. I watched the whole game. Me too. Sick game of footy. For a game to finish like that, with a try like that, it's just like – so the thing that – the only thing that annoys me about it is immediately the commentator saying greatest try ever – because, like, yeah, it's great. It just annoys me when they're like, just just be in the moment and enjoy this amazing finish to a game of footy. We don't have to be calling it the greatest and you've anything heard ever. It before. Exactly. Which, which, like, every time there's an amazing. that. Because exactly. it actually fucking is up there, in my opinion. Of course it is. Yeah. But stop saying it about every amazing finish. Just go, that was ridiculous. These guys are freaks. What a finish. Incredible. To their credit. Superhuman. I think uh, Michael Ennis was like genuine. Like I'm, yeah. he was there going like. Ennis was lost for words. And so was Kronk. Like I think Ennis, <laughs> Ennis is just like, that is the best try I've ever seen. And he yeah. like. Yeah. I, and it, was, I, it felt real. It felt real when he said it to And me. I think the thing that with that, it was to win the game with five seconds left. Yeah. Like not that that makes it any better or worse, but just the, 
Well, the, it does make it better. The stage of the game, yeah, kind of. It sort of does, eh? Definitely if you does. Just, if, you were to, if you were to put that try in the 10th minute to make it 16-0, is it, it's not as special, is it? No way. For it to be in the context of the game like that. But it was an absolutely fucking mind-blowing thing Feet, that yeah, he did. Like, and then the fact that it was with like 10 seconds left. The la- the it was the last play of the game. Yeah. Like pretty much, there's probably one tackle left. And it wasn't because he nearly ended up in Rosette. Like it was fucking... Anyway, that's been spoken about. Ad nauseum this week. Bro, I was, we just oh, had to put our two cents in and say. I was on the couch and like, you know, when you watch a game of footy and something good happens, or you might even say something to yourself, but you don't get like, you don't really say much. I just like sat up and I went, "Oh my god!" Yeah, like it was verbally said, "Oh my god!" It was absurd. The missus was like just chilling, and I was like, "What the?" F-? I said it multiple times because the yeah. storm scored started, and, that, and then that happened. And I was like, "What the fuck?" And she's like, shut up. I was like, yeah, sorry. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird to be a grown man yelling at the TV, but I was fully. <laughs> it's I actually pretty myself. normal. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Every old man does it. It is. But yeah, amazing. Just, uh, <laughs> I was just so happy the footy's back. In. It's I'm actually so nice when like your missus starts to know you. Like I'll just say shit. she be like, you're talking to me or the TV? Yeah. I'm like, like fucking TV. You're like an old man. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. It's very Okay, nice. cool. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. That was, that was um, nice. Yeah. Do you want to comment on the Knights game? Uh, extremely disappointing. Yeah. Um, a good effort. Great effort. He's better than the week before. Very hard to go. It's so far, man. That travel, like traveling like that to go and win away, it is so far away. We have an atrocious record up there. Cowboys were not great, but we let them back into the game. It's the NRL, man. Mm-hmm. Like fucking everyone's good. Some teams are just a bit shitter than others, but if you give teams a chance, most teams are good enough to fucking put you away. That's just the reality of it. It's yeah. the best standard of rugby league on the planet. They're, they're elite Still level early, athletes. They're dropping balls. Not, yeah. not my team fucking included. Yeah. I'll add. Yeah. But, but like, I mean, that's going to wean out. You'd fucking hope. Most teams on their day, if you give them chances, they fucking put you to the sword. That's just, that's just the reality of it. Most decent teams, not everyone, but fucking probably 15 out of the fucking 18 teams are good enough to fuck you up. <laughs> if you give them a chance, you, you, you at home decide which three I'm leaving out there. <laughs> Real hard to pick. You at home can decide. We can all agree probably the Dragons and Tigers are two of them. Yep. You can decide on the third yourself. <laughs> rhymes with frogs. Yeah. Yeah. It rhymes with bullfrog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's just how it is. It's fucking, it's it's a good, it's the best comp. Yeah. yeah that's it, just how it is. If you if you don't take your chances and you give team chances, you lose. You lose Heartbreaking lose. fashion sometimes like that. That's what it is. I already forget who South had. Who the fuck do we have? Uh, you got beaten Broncos? by, was it Broncos? yeah, the Bronx yeah. Nation. Yeah. yeah. See, that's a hard game. There's, there's so many fucking hard games, man. I was like, just watching all the games on the weekend. And cause I know South used to have it in them and they, like, I hope that like, they still do. It's just early, but specifically the storm and the Panthers shocked me to, but like their offloads, they just find someone yeah. so simply every time they threw it, someone was there to catch it. Yeah. It was just like. Can my team fucking do that, please? It's such a hard thing to stop. Like, it seems so simple, like, lock the footy up. But these fucking men are just mutants. Yeah. Like, their, their technique, they find a shoulder. Or you think you got the ball locked up and they just – James Fisher Harris is just ten times stronger than everyone. He just goes, fuck off, bang. Like, But it's, even, it's to the chest or, like, yeah. that. someone get, like – our teams do that and it's going to the ground and like maybe they pick it up and you're not really getting that much of an advantage off the offload. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's fucking um Yeah. I was jealous. I was honestly jealous watching it this weekend. Nah, the footy it's been fucking a hectic standard of footy to to start the year. It's very horny. Did you see Josh Mansour talk about ex coach Demetrio? Nah, what did he say? I seen it get reposted and said it was hectic. I didn't give it the time to read it. He essentially said, Look, we didn't um, We didn't get along. We didn't get along. He said he said that Demetrio strung him along, said he dropped him from a game from you missed tackles last week. He said, can you show me the tackles I missed? He missed two. One, he was in a very sticky situation. Like it was like a two on one. He had to make a defensive decision. Other one, he ended up making the tackle and he's gone. So Demetrio has gone and looked through past weeks to find missed tackles. And he's like, he's like, so am I getting dropped for missing tackles last week or what? Yeah. And Demetrio didn't really give him an answer. Dropped him. Then he said again, oh, look, mate, you're looking good to get back in the team. He was like, I get sick. Then debuted some other cunt. Yeah. Which he's like, you want to be happy for that kid, but also Fuck you've you. essentially been told that you're yeah. going to play. And then to top it all off, he goes, yeah, at the end of the season or whatever it was, at some preso that's like, oh, yeah, we want to give a bit of a special video to the, um, the boys who will be leaving the club this year and thank of everyone. And he was the first bike on the oh, screen. Oh, he didn't know. And he didn't know. Oh, 
Oh, that's atrocious. That puts him in a new light for me. Like, yeah. And I don't take Mansell for a liar, to be honest. I think I think that's going to hurt the bunnies. I think your bunnies might be in for a long year it's, with that coming out. It does. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not just saying yeah, that. Like, that's I, I, terrible. That's why I brought it up. Like, if that's the sort of bloke to be, this coach is, that's going to not both, especially if any of those blokes like the source. Yeah. Like, they like Josh Mansell because he's played with a lot of those guys that are there he now. He's good, bro. He's fucking heaps good. Yeah. I mean, like, and to be uh, and fucking Vossi and that other cunt came out with something to say. And I normally like Vossi, but... um. They were just like, oh, you know, for him to be piling on Demetrio. It's like he's, he's not got, piling he, he on. He got that, asked a question on a podcast. That's and told a valid. The truth. That's a valid thing to say. And he didn't bring it up. No. He got asked and said he's peace. Also, how's it piling on? By telling, yeah. Like what? You got first of all, you're the journo's. You guys start the fucking pylons, by the way. First of all, Mansell said that too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's not. Po- you guys, the first one in the stacks on is you fucking cocksuckers that write the newspapers. Well, a commentator has never ripped on a player or, or a usually coach. or like a staff writer. Yeah, like fuck off, cunt. Yeah, yeah, boo, Vossie. That's garbage from you. Yeah, I. It was fucking really hurt because I like to go into bat for my team, but I fucking like Mansell. That's hard. That's hard. And like that, it also puts a lot of other. Words around the Rabbitohs into perspective, like you hear about a few boys getting some extra treatment. Yeah, and you're going, yeah, yeah. Fuck, if he's acting like that. Yeah, maybe there's some valid validity to it. Yeah, that's footy clubs too. Like in general, like I've always and coaches are in tricky positions. It's the hardest job, bro. You've got like thirty blokes. Some of them are absolute raving fucking lunatics, egos, athletes. You got to manage that and try and get the cunts to play the best possible footy, and they all want. To play exactly, like, you can only pick seventeen every week. Yeah. There, some of them are on huge money and playing like shit. Yep. Some of them are on shit money and they're killing it. Yep. Who do you play? Like it's it's the hardest, shittest job. So that's not lost on me, but it still doesn't put still him in a great. good light. No, still doesn't look like you guys could have a bad year with this. Game. <laughs> so in round two, you guys could uh, be. Shit. It's all coming up, rabbitos. It's all coming up, bunnies, baby. It's all coming up, bunnies. All right, let's chew. Guys, time for this week's edition of the Daily Blues Chews. Uh, not going to lie, this one was done on the fly today. Something different. Uh, short notice chew. I'm not going to lie to you, it's not a fun one. Okay. It's a boring chew. Right, a quick, quick boring chew. Guys, it's chew time. It's Coming to you with yep. something a little bit different this week. It's time to get back on track. There's been a couple of weeks of hedonism, to say the least. Treats, pies, old bar, Las Vegas, gambling, sauce, nicotine. Uh, it's time to get back on track. Now, I'm going to give you guys a look at what I've been chewing when I'm not treating. This is not going to be a fun chew, but this, this is a chew of discipline. This is a chew of regiment, and this is a chew that's going to get us over the line come podcast, podcast royale, April 27. This is what I'm putting nice. in my body on the weeks where I'm not uh, putting poison into it. We've got broccoli, broccolini, zucchini, capsicum, chicken off the barbie, and couscous. That this looks, is the Dollar that looks Champions. Nice, bro. This is a very boring chew. But you know what? Sometimes, sometimes, this is just what you got to do. <laughs> Let's not fuck around. Let's chew. We're going to get some broccolini. We're going to get some chicken. We're going to get some couscous. Let's chew. Give us a score. What do you got? Ah, oh, six, eight. It's nice and simple. Nothing spectacular. That's what I'm thinking. Is it flavoursome? Yes. Okay. Is it as good as a big snitty wrap? Fuck no. But it's good fuel. 7.5? Yeah, I shot low there. But it's premium. <laughs> premium fuel. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, Shut 7, up. 5, yeah. I mean, look, as as we said, the... Uh, the, the the pod's been recorded early this week. Yeah. I am back back on the fucking health kick now. So I don't need to be I mean Monday, I really Monday like to Friday. Look at that. It was great. Yeah. I, I do eat very, very well. So like Barbie on Sundays is like I cut all my chicken up, I cook it on the Barbie, I grill a heap of veggies on the Barbie, and I had just a big container of veggies, big container of chicken, and then I just go to Woolies and buy this big tub of couscous already done. And I just go bang, 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 all three in a container. Mate, how good is broccolini? So sick. I love broccolini. Great. I season the fuck out of it. It's got yeah. heaps of salt and uh what is it like um lemon lemon pepper or lemon some some shit. Oh, I'll put on veggies. it and then I've and then I grill it on the Barbie. That's great, yeah. Yeah. Guys, if you're new to the show, welcome. This is the segment of the show. You can basically leave us a voicemail. It can be abusive. It can be friendly. Whatever's on your mind. We sometimes have themes mm-hmm. that we like to bring to the show. Bring us up. 
bring it to the show. We'll have a bit of a yarn about it. This is the Daily Blue Dial-Ins. Gabe X Thomas, Daily Blue News, Instagrams. There is a link. Hit that. It takes you to our speak pipe. That is how you get involved. We fucking love hearing from you guys. Also, if you're new, you want to give yourself a cool nickname like some of these guys, feel free. If you want to change that nickname because you didn't like it, you can do that too. Completely up to you guys. Daily Blue dial in, Bluey, let's fucking rip in. Gabe, just listen to the pod, mate. Uh... I'm fucking dumbfounded that you would say that Chalky Milk is overrated, cunt. Uh. I mean, I know I gave you a bit of a rap and said, you know, <laughs> thanks for what you've been doing for the pod a few weeks ago. <laughs> see, take, but see. fuck me, cunt. How can Chalky Milk be overrated? A little bit. Man, if I ever went to prison <laughs> for fucking life for murdering a small blonde-haired boy, yeah, here we go. I would happily live off bread and fucking Chalky Milk and not hate a day in that fucking prison cell. He's proven my point. My God. You've said some fuck shit, but that has <laughs> kicked me over the edge. You've proved my point, CTC. It's chalky milk is good. It's just a bit overrated. I think... If you had to call it over or under, it's over. Well, can't, that's kind of the thing because you get snooker because you do have to pick over or under. Yeah. You couldn't say that chocolate milk was underrated. You can't. So it has to be overrated, but... Yeah. It's not overrated. It's great. Uh, calling something overrated doesn't mean it's shit. Yes. Like uh-huh. let's be let's be crystal clear on that. If Gabe right, or I point. say something's, I mean sometimes it means it's shit. Definitely. But not in this case. If if Gabe is saying that chalky milk's overrated, he's not saying it's shit. He's saying too many people swing off its cock. Yeah. I believe that's. That, that, that's the. I don't want to put. For. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Mate, if you're saying you could drink chalky milk for the rest of your life with no other drink, happily in jail, you're a bricklayer. <laughs> <laughs> it's what, it's what that. You're a fucking concrete or a bricklayer is what that means. That's that what was what? a. That was a good mate, the Clarence Town cunt there. CTC too. giving it his best. What a guy. Cheers, mate. Hey, fellas, it's the Dirty Money Dribbler here. He's back. A uh, long time between drinks. I yeah. uh, just wanted to chat about a couple of my pet peeves. So about a week ago, I took my daughter to the playground and she's exploring around picking up fins. Oh, no. And the next thing you know, she picks up a fucking syringe. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, what kind of crook can't leave a syringe at a children's playground? Too many of them, brother. And then um, I was about to get her away from her before she stabbed herself, thankfully. (laughs) So that that ended up okay. But then today, I I took my daughter to the same playground. and, And you know what I find there? A dead fucking cat. I mean, what kind of crook cunt like uh, puts a dead cat into fuck? a garbage bag Where do you live? and takes it down to a playground and dumps it? Like, what the fuck is the story with that? Like, um, <laughs> like well, what the fuck is wrong with humanity? And then, and then, probably the worst thing of all is that I I hear Gabe telling me that chocolate milk is overrated. <laughs> I mean, holy <laughs> shit, dude. Like the Venn diagram between people who dump cats at a children's playground and think chocolate milk is overrated is almost a perfect circle. Damn. So, yeah, guys, um, enjoy. I, I really didn't think I was going to do that much damage with that comment. He's I sat- usually know. He just said you're worse than a junkie cat murderer. Yeah. yeah. Hey, go to a new park, first of all. First of all, move. Yeah, well, move move completely. Dirty money dribbler, move. If that's not possible, if, just a different park. If not for you, for your kids. Yeah. Yeah, go to a different park, bro. Stay inside. Yeah. The sounds of it, stay inside where you live. I knew that's where it was going, mate. Um, yeah, you're, you're a junkie cat murderer. Syringes in parks. That's fucked up. That's not good. No, nah, it's terrible. It's the worst, actually. <laughs> it's actually fucking awful. Gay, blue, dumb cunt calling back in again. DC. Yes, Just calling to have a bit of a whinge about what I think is one of the biggest wanks of all time, and that is going out for breakfast. Ooh. Other Sunday, wake up, crippling hangover, crippling anxiety about what the fuck happened last <laughs> night. Yep. Mrs. reminds me that we're going out for breakfast with a family. I'm like, yep, all oh. good. Me, her, and her mum get in the car. We go out. Thing. It's weird, it's just the three of us thought it'd be all of our family. Turns out it was all of the family, but like fucking all of her family. Oh. And apparently I met them all last night and I can't really remember it. So oh. head noise through the roof. Yep. Get in there. Fucking sit down. You're going to get some. Everything is super expensive. It costs you fucking 50 bone. And all you get is a fucking juice and a fucking brekkie burger. And you can't just get a normal squeezed orange juice. You've got to get some fucking... 
super duper fucking hangover cure juice that costs you fucking nine bone and it's fucking tastes like shit anyway and it takes 30 minutes for them to get it to you. Yeah. Then you order your food and it's another fucking 30 minutes late after that. Fucking everything about it is just a huge wank. It's overpriced. That they're understaffed. It takes fucking forever. Everyone's like, oh, it's so nice and cute in here. Postmodern fucking... No, they're just using fucking old jam jars as fucking cups. <laughs> it's shit. True. They're ripping us off. I fucking ain't about it. Yeah. All I want to do when I wake up hungover is go for a swim, slave myself through a workout and fucking sit back and watch a Sunday hour footy. But no, I've got to go out to breakfast. Anyway. That's a minute 30 time cap. DC. Uh, DC, great passion in what you're talking about. Agree. Of the three, if you were to say going out for brekkie lunch or dinner, brekkie is bronze medal for sure. Yes. I, I will admit it can be a treat. Yeah. But, it, but he's fuck, definitely not wrong about the pricing sitch. Yeah. For what you get, Yeah, like as in like if you were to say like what 20 bucks gets you as a lunch special, you know what I mean, a schnitty. A nice schnitty, Diane, maybe, chip salad. Maybe. maybe. Yeah, maybe. 25. Yeah, mate. 25. Yeah. yeah. But so what does 25 get you at breakfast? Yeah, fucking not much. Not much. That's, I mean, it depends where you're going, it, and, and if you could never do one again, you would eliminate brekkie for sure. For sure. Like if you had to. Gun you to your never, head. Yeah. Gun to your head. You can never have one of the three. Brekkie gets the bullet. Easily. Fuck off. See you later. Yeah. Lunch and dinners. For sure. Uh, <laughs> I like the jar comment. That's so true. It was the, They're always serving it in some fucking jar. The attention to detail there let me know he was fucked off. Yeah. I like that. Whole family. Yeah. Louie, I'm that fucking horny, dude, eh? I'm that fucking horny. Gabe, I'm horny as. <laughs> so horny. That was uh, sent in anonymously. I'll take that. Mate, take that every day of the week. That is what the dial is for. We are here. We say give us a piece of your mind, and that was just a man going straight from head to mouth. Let us know. Give us a fucking piece of your piece as well. I hope you um, I hope you figured that one out, man. Yeah, fuck yeah. And if you didn't, I mean, whatever. That's cool. G'day, boys. It's Danny Boy from Ipswich. Danny. You whack this one up on the Patreon because oh, oh. I'm pretty sure. Well, you don't follow the rules for Patreon, but anyway, we'll keep that. Keep that for Patreon. Yep. Danny boy, your wish is my command. From now on, if you want to dial in for Patreon where you can get a little bit more rogue, a little bit more interesting, or you just don't want everyone to hear it and you want the special select few to hear it, put in your description your name and then brackets Patreon. Well, put Patreon first because it's the first thing we see. Put Patreon, then your name and whatever you want. We've been through this. Guys, we've fucking been through this. God damn it. Join the Patreon now. Louie, Gabe, fucking love the pod. Love you, man. Calling in from the faraway land of South Australia where rugby league isn't really a major sport. No. So I never grew up watching it. It was what my weird uncle from New South Wales used to do. Good bloke. And fucking being an alcoholic and fiddling with kids, the only other thing I knew about him was <laughs> that he liked rugby league. So it was always a bit weird to me. It's but um, totally anyway. there, holy shit. Uh, I've started fucking watching it a bit because well, I listen to you boys Yabber on about it on the pod every week, Go fucking on. with absolute pleasure, by the way, and thought I'd see what all the fuss is about. Fucking, it's not a bad game. It's fucking good. Oh, I fucking just watched a bloke called Xavier Coates do something outlandishly freakish. Yep. Fucking jumped over some six-foot-eight Islander bloke to fucking win the game in the last 15 seconds, and I came. I came hard. That's I really came sick. everywhere. There was screaming. There was shouting. Fucking thank you, boys, for getting me into this fucking sport of rugby league. I can see... It becoming a sport that I'll follow a little more closely over the next few years. But I haven't got a team yet, so any suggestions? Uh, let me know. I'm guessing Blue will fucking definitely say the Knights and Gabe might say the Rabbitohs. <laughs> but I do know that he changed teams when he was younger, so I don't know. I don't really trust that cunt. <laughs> anyway, can't. fucking love your work, boys. Oh, I've got to go. I feel like an idiot. I'm just yabbering on you. Love the pod. Bye. Mwah. Don't feel like an idiot, mate. That is what the dialings are for. You ring up and you yabber on. That is the fucking whole point of this. We've been sitting on the couch yabbering on for fucking 40 weeks straight now, mate. Do not feel like an idiot. That was also sent in by uh, the Adelaide Anal Enthusiast. I don't know if he nice. said that. That is his That is his tagline. Proud to have introduced you to the greatest game of all, mate. That's what we do. Yeah, I think that's actually really cool. That's cool. Uh, I would say Adelaide City of Churches. Um, we've got a nice church here in Newcastle. <laughs> Go the Knights. As you as you said, Gabe's a fucking turncoat anyway, so... That is, don't you start about turncoat and cunt. What? How? You know how, man. How? You know how. The dialings know how. What? What? How? Maroonie. How? What? <laughs> <laughs>
Well, should we? How? What's the closest to Adelaide? Probably Melbourne. No, the you Melbourne. No, pro- you don't get to go for Melbourne. He probably it, fair income. If he just watched that, if his first game of footy was watching Xavier Coates yeah, do that, that, and that. he lives in Adelaide, he probably should go for the Storm. You and you're probably going to have a fucking nice time following the Storm, bro. You're going to fucking run top four most years. You're probably going to play in prelims most years, and more often than not, mate, you're probably every decade you're going to win a comp or two. That's what I'm. But you don't. You can't nah. give a newbie a good team. I fucking hope I'm giving. I want to en- make the most sense. I, I want him. to enjoy the fucking game of footy, not like us dumb cunts following shit. <laughs> fucking teams <laughs> um, that's also I'm out, I'm out of time I'm fucking yeah, time capped that's all good mate uh, apologies to everyone we got a lot of dialing this week that we didn't get through I'm very very sorry those were a good batch though yeah that was nice that was good um, thanks to everyone that we did get through don't worry if you dialed in and we didn't get to it it'll be on next week's show when we're less uh, time poor um, again this sort of these sort of shorter episodes are only till the boxing's done and it frees up another night that we can record um, that's just the game we're part timers yep that's just what it is. Sorry. That's just what it is. That's what a lady told me when I was in Hawaii. I wanted to buy a bottle of Howler Head. Yeah. And uh, I said, she said, have you got any ID? She was an Asian lady. And I said, I, I've got my driver's license. She goes, no, I need your passport. I was like, well, this is a government ID. I'm fucking clear. I look 50. You can't give yeah. me the Howler Head. And uh, she goes, sorry, that's just how it is. <laughs> And you've adopted it ever and since. And that's what me and my say to each other. You say it like that as well. Every time I say, sorry, that's just how it is. <laughs> you so say, it, to, say the, it on the work site. I say it on the job site to the plasterers. <laughs> <I> s- <laughs> sorry. And when there's a short episode, I say to you guys, sorry, that's just how it is. <laughs> guys, stay locked in. Locked in for greatness. Uh, next week, the In the Blue Corner official merch of the boxing uh, podcast Royale 2024 will be online. Keep an eye out on the socials. Blue and I will keep you posted. Yeah, it's going to be a short one. It's going to be a seven-day pre-sale, so don't fuck around. No. Buy it, and then that's it. Don't fuck around. Lock in. Lock in for that one. Lock Lock, in for greatness. Lock in for the merch. Uh, We do an extra episode on Wednesdays on Patreon. We'd love to see you there. It's a nice secret meeting where we talk about juicy shit. I I do more racist accents there. (laughs) You think that was bad? Wait till you fucking fire up the Patreon. I'll get real fucking dark. Bluey let her out some secret Vegas stories. I did. (laughs) Secret info. Say no more. Secret info. It wasn't even that good. Uh, Love you. We'll see you... Next, next time. Next time. See you next time. <laughs> Later. Smooth. <laughs> God, we're good at ending these. You're my boy, Blue.